Okay, we're back again. Um, quick update. <laughs> uh, I actually manually flipped the switch on the AC in, the alternating current um, power coming in from our house to this inverter. So you can hear AC coming in is abnormal and zero. Now this is the OP, the output, that is at 240. And then um, the battery is in inverter mode now. So I'm able to get it into inverter mode. AC input is um, abnormal still there, as you can see. We're at 59 hertz, so. Um, so. Yeah, um, there it is, input. No volts. The load is 3%. So, 3% of, I guess, I mean, 3% of the capacity of the inverter. So now, um, I'm, I'm just curious, I'm not sure um, what's, what's really happening. I, I don't know, it says inverter mode. So power must be coming from some DC source. But if we check the battery, um, it says inverter mode, but if we check the battery, we turn this on, we go through and we look at it. It was at zero current. It's at zero current. It's not taking anything from the battery. So that means that it must be coming from the solar, which is right here. It must be coming from the solar power right there. Um, eight gauge wires is what they recommended. So let's see how much power it's drawing from there. And um, this will be interesting. Let me hang on. Okay, we're back. Um, let me get this under here. So, I'm connected here, checking the voltage of the solar, which is 82, 81.9, 82. It's right in the middle of the range. It arranges 60 to 100 volts, so um, it's uh, it's collecting some sun right now, which is really good. Um, normally these panels are in the early morning; they're at right at 60, like 59, and then and then they hit 61. And if on a cloudy day, they're at 60 volts. And then right now there's some pretty good sun as you can see. Uh, let me turn this off. There's some pretty good sun. And we're at 80 volts. So um, the thing is that what I needed, it looks like what I needed to do was to turn off the AC input for the inverter because um, because the inverter was sensing that there was good power and it was passing the load right through um, but there is also a fan that draws power so <laughs> that's not a good thing the fan was drawing power and um, you can hear it kind of humming right now 60 decibels one meter away uh, and so that wasn't good. And so um, yesterday and today, the last two days, we have more, we've consumed more AC than what we really wanted to. We charged the battery fully on AC power. And um, I think in solar as well. But um, for the most part, AC at night, it charges. And, and that was not good. That's not what we want. So we're in inverter mode right now. And as a matter of fact, this back over. 1% load is on the uh, is on the inverter. Um, I'm pretty sure the house is drawing a lot more than just 1%. So 
Um, I'm curious. I am curious how much power is automatically or this thing is programmed to send to the house because the truth is I want as much power as possible but um, I'm not sure if this inverter can handle the load of my HVAC system it, it did shut down yesterday and I think I showed you guys that but um, let's see uh, 1% load why why is it just one percent i want to send more power all right um let me know if you know anything about these sun gold power inverters and um let me know if i can send more power um manually force more energy to go into the to the system and feed back into the grid all right um right now i have zero generated zero power generated um, on my net metering meter and so that's all for today or for right now um, I'll give you an update a little bit later once uh, don't don't mind all these l weird wires and ugly looking setup once I get this system down packed I will go ahead and um and button up these wires get them get them nice and tight and put the cover back on but but it's working we're approved we we got our meter to um to flow backwards and uh we just haven't flown backwards yet so stay tuned update to come more to follow um thanks for watching the channel um like share and subscribe if you know anybody who's in this situation or you might be in this situation where you're not really getting a good um, good power generation out of your your solar inverter um, apparently the new Sun Gold inverters that are large um, I think this is like 8k and above um, the ones similar to my don't come with this model on the newer versions don't come with the solar charge controller the pv charge controller the mppt maximum power point tracking charge control they don't come with that so um that's a problem because i like it in this all-in-one package um and yeah so I won't be buying the newer version of this. I might need to get a different type of system. But uh, yeah, this is supposed to be a 12K system that can uh, jump start um, 30, at 36,000 watts. So, so three times it's running capacity for 15 seconds which is what you need to start up a an hvac compressor so that is all for today and or for now um later on i'll let you know if when the sun goes down if we start drawing power from the battery and and really using up this uh, the capacity we're only at one percent right now which it should not be it should be more but let's see all right i'll get it going and let you know talk to you soon like share and subscribe